Naveen, please. Hello. Sir, it's an honor uh, to be here. I think on behalf of the, the whole set of entrepreneurs, I think it's the, probably the first time that we have an opportunity to be in front of you. So we take a lot of pride in, in doing this. Um, I think as a, before I just kick in, as a product industry, uh, you know, we've been around for, really thriving around for the last five, six years or so. But I think over the last two, three years, what we have seen is an example of the people stand, sitting out here. Uh, you know, as in Mobi, we have tried to do some things, and so I'll try and share some of the things that we do. Before I dive in, our business as in Mobi is all on mobile phones, which is not a, uh, you know, not the most complex of decisions to make in the today's world. We basically see that roughly about, uh, as a user, as an individual user, you spend roughly about 30% of your time on the phone. Of the, sorry, go back. Of the six hours that you do, where you do media consumption, this is global numbers. India is higher. Of the global, in 24 hours a day, a user is spending six hours, 10 minutes on a media device. It could be newspaper, it could be radio, it could be television, of which, Roughly about 102 minutes is spent on mobile devices. This is a trend that we as Inmobi tried to predict five years ago or six years ago when we started. We basically said every media property needs a, a, a pillar of advertising for, for it to be supported. Otherwise, you cannot build a media property. You cannot build an ecosystem around that. And so we looked at we looked at how the how the industry would change and we have seen what mobile has done to the to the to the world from how magazines have been reimagined earlier we used to re, you know read magazines like this now you have you know applications like flipboard etc uh, that that you use for magazines uh, we have reimagined music you used to hear them on radio using cds now you have applications like savan uh, spotify pandora that has totally transformed how you look at music. If you move on, you used to hail a cab by you know, holding your hand out there. The days are over. You basically have an application on the phone which does not, which, which makes your life very easy because you can hail a cab uh, using a you know, bunch of applications out there. In India, there are applications like Ola Cab, etc., which basically allow you to do this. If you move on, you have the, the, there is reimagination of healthcare to say how companies like ZocDoc and uh, and others provide on-demand access to doctors. So therefore, that world is being reimagined today. And therefore, there is also a reimagination of how education can happen on, on the mobile phones. Because there is no reason to actually, that we can never create the required number of teachers with all the required number of intellect. Forget it. It's not going to happen. It's going to happen through mobile platforms because they can solve for those problems. Similarly, five years ago, we tried to reimagine advertising. And we said, advertising has gone through a, 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 an era of evolution. We started to look at newspaper advertising. We have billboard advertising. You have uh, you know, television advertising. You have online advertising that you see on your, uh, on your uh, PCs. And we basically said, the new era of advertising, where a user is spending, on an average, 102 minutes a day, Advertising needs to come in, come in those, on those platforms, therefore enabling a large ecosystem because other, all the products and applications that you see today, the reason why you're able to use them without spending money is because they are supported through advertising. And we basically try to reimagine advertising across the globe. So if you move on, we have tried to redefine advertising. It's a glimpse of what all we can do, whether you're playing a game, reading a news, uh, anything that you're looking to do. Again, you know, applications like, you know, looking at, uh, you know, the, the weather. Uh, I don't know why that's not appearing. But if you keep clicking on that, something will happen. Uh, and so there are, the, the advertising, when it comes on mobile phones, the reason why it's redefined is because not only can you see it, but you can, you can touch it, you can hear it, you have visual, uh, you can actually take actions on it. So therefore, advertising has gone to the next level. 
at some level. So if you move forward, one of the things that we did, and we are very, very proud of that, uh, we focused a lot on technology development, pure IP creation, because of which uh, last year, MIT awarded us and recognized us as one of the top 50 most disruptive companies in the world, alongside Apple, uh, Google, why Amazon. Why disruptive? Disruptive because we are changing something. We are changing, just like the disruption that happened there. Since the technology space, disruptive is considered a positive word. <laughs> we are not disrupting the parliament. <laughs> just like, just like the government, it's disruptive. It's going to bring good days. Your government is disruptive. Over the last five years, we have uh, uh, we have expanded ourselves to 25 countries in terms of our offices. Uh, we have uh, businesses that we do in the last five years in about 165 countries. So uh, that's from a uh, footprint point of view. In terms of our scale, you know these are little technical numbers, but we showcase 150 billion ads to over 1 billion people across the globe every month. So that's the scale that we get to from an economic transaction perspective. Advertising is nothing but enabling economic transactions. We estimate anywhere around 3 to 4 billion dollars of economic <coughs> transaction that we have impacted every year. So that's the level of economic transaction impact that we are doing. Again, the amount of data that we collect, this, all of these businesses, the new age businesses are about big data. All of this, all of this advertising that I was talking about, it's not that I should show you anything. It is all about, I have understood you because I have so much data about you, about your usage, that I can show you something that you really want. So we as Inmovi are in the business of prediction, of predicting what you may want in the next one hour, in the next one day, in the next one week, in the next one month. That prediction, <coughs> improvement in that prediction is, a, is, is what we are trying to do. We feel uh, extremely proud of the fact that we have built out a global company out of India in the last six years. We believe it's just the starting of what uh, the country has to offer. And I think uh, over the next uh, you know, 10 years, I think there will be enough and more companies that will get created that will dwarf all of these things. So with that, thank you so much. Thanks, Naveen, for setting the stage for us.